हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन फार्मास्युटिकल केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर मिसेस उर्मिला रविंद्र गवड़ी एम फार्म इन क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस एंड लेक्चरर इन के के वाग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मसी चांदोरी सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ एसे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टेन टाइटल ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट टू डिटरमाइन परसेंट वेट बाय वेट ऑफ जिंक ऑक्साइड इन द गिवन सैम्पल ऑफ जिंक ऑक्साइड सो लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव After watching this video, student will able to learn intellectual skill that means to understand the concept of assay, to identify titrate and titrant in the titration, to understand the concept of factor calculation, to understand the concept of percentage purity, motor skill, to observe the correct meniscus of the solution in the burette, to observe the color change at the end point of the titration. Concept. This assay is based upon acid-base type of titration. Zinc oxide react with acid very slowly, so the back titration is useful for the assay of zinc oxide. In this assay, the zinc oxide is added to definite amount of sulfuric acid, which is taken in excess and is titrated with standard solution of sodium hydroxide. Sulfuric acid solution, which is excess, is back titrated. form the volume of sulfuric acid consumed percentage of zinc oxide can be calculated ammonium chloride is used to prevent the precipitation of zinc hydroxide which interfere with the end point detection this is the chemical reaction used for standardization potassium hydrogen phthalate when react with sodium hydroxide it gives sodium potassium phthalate plus water molecule and chemical reaction for assay zinc oxide plus h2o2 that gives zinc sulfate znso4 plus h2o and again excess of h2so4 react with sodium hydroxide to form the sodium sulfate plus two molecule of water this is the chemical reaction involved in the assay of zinc oxide and zinc oxide assay of zinc oxide it is the example of back titration in this excess of h2o so for means sulfuric acid is reacted with sodium hydroxide factor factor for standardization each ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide is equivalent to 0. 2042 g of potassium hydrogen phthalate and factor for assay each ml of 1 molar h2so4 is equivalent to 0.04069 g of zinc oxide apparatus required for the assay weighing balance burette pipette conical flask funnel measuring cylinder and beaker and the chemicals zinc oxide ammonium chloride potassium hydrogen phthalate one molar sodium hydroxide one normal sulfuric acid phenylphthalein and methyl orange as a indicator so for actual procedure we move towards laboratory hello friends welcome in pharmaceutical chemistry laboratory today we are going to perform assay of zinc oxide in the gibbon so um, for that theory part concept of the experiment principal reaction factor involved in this then um, apparatus chemical we already discussed in previous session so let's start with procedure for standardization of one normal nmh we have to weigh 5 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate no for standardization purpose we have to weigh 5 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate Is 
is 5 gram of potassium hydrogen thalate. Now add this 5 gram of potassium hydrogen thalate into the 250 ml of conical flask and dissolve it into 75 ml of carbon dioxide filled water. Means it is a distilled water. Now, put it properly, dissolve it and add 0.1 ml of phenolphthalein indicator. Shake it properly. Now this solution we are going to titrate it with 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. For that uh, in this burette we already filled 1 molar sodium hydroxide and 0 level adjustment. So let's start with titration. Titrate with constant stirring, so reaction occurs simultaneously and we got sharp end point. Now this is our end point colorless to pink. So burette reading is 23.9. In similar way we have to repeat this procedure for 3 times and calculate mean and calculate the modality of 1 molar sodium hydroxide. So let's start with standardization of sorry AC of zinc oxide for that we require 1.5 gram of zinc oxide. So weigh accurately 1.5 gram of zinc oxide. and place this in the 250 ml conical flask. Then weigh ammonium chloride 2.5 gram. Two point five gram of ammonium chloride. Again, add this into conical flask. Ml of one normal sulfuric acid. Now we have to dissolve this by gentle heating. So heat for five minutes. After heating, we have to add few drops of methyl orange. After addition of methyl orange, we got 
orange yellow color precipitate now let's start titration zinc aso of zinc oxide it is a example of back titration it is also called indirect titration means titration method where the concentration of analyte is determined by reacting with the unknown concentration of excess of reagent so it is a back titration here sodium hydroxide is act as a yeah, it is used to used to use for titration and uh, one normal h2so for sulfuric acid is used one normal sulfuric acid is used in excess so that zinc oxide react with excess of sulfuric acid here the color change orange orange yellow color turn into reddish color that means it is a end point for acid of zinc oxide our reading is 18.7 so in similar way repeat this titration for three times and calculate the mean okay now let's start with blank titration blank, blank titration means titration without analyte being present means in this we have to only add reagent and perform titration here zinc oxide acid of zinc oxide uh, that is the example of back titration and in blank titration there is absence of zinc oxide so we ammonium chloride 2.5 g for blank titration sorry 2.5 g of ammonium chloride put this ammonium chloride into conical flask and add 50 ml of one normal sulfuric acid shake it properly and titrate it against one molar sodium hydroxide solution with methyl orange as a indicator After addition of indicator, we got orange yellow color solution. So now titrate it with one molar sodium hydroxide solution. So start the titration for blank. Shake vigorously. we are adding almost 50 ml again thin the beer to be one mole of sodium hydroxide solution now here orange yellow color turn into reddish orange this is our end point and our reading is 
we first of all we added 50 ml of this one molar NaOH and then this 4.3 that means 54.3 is our blank reading ok so uh, our we have to now let's move towards calculation part for that standardization reading is 23.9 23.8, 23.9 and its mean is 23.9 ml. So let's start with calculation for standardization. One molar of sodium hydroxide, sorry, molarity of sodium hydroxide is equal to weight of sample divided by burette reading into 0.2042. This is the factor. Then put the value in the formula that is weight of sample 5 divided by burette reading. This is standardization, uh, mean of standardization. Then 29.5 into 0.2042. And our calculated molarity is 1.02 molar. Now, reading for acid calculation 18.7, 18.8, 18.6. And mean is 18.7. Now, in acid of zinc oxide, we perform back titration and therefore blank reading that is 54.3 minus mean of acid 18.7 back reading back titration and the difference is 35.6 this reading is added into the calculation for zinc oxide so factor is each ml of one molar Sodium hydroxide is equivalent to 0.04069 grams of zinc oxide. That means 39 point, sorry, 35.6 ml of 1.02 molar sodium hydroxide gives how many grams of zinc oxide. So in the formula we add this quantity x is equal to 0.04069 into 1.02 into 35.6 divided by 1. That is equal to 1.48 grams of zinc oxide. So, in 1.5 gram, that means uh, for the performance of assay, we require 1.5 gram. We take a 1.5 gram of zinc oxide. That contains how many grams of zinc oxide? So, 0 0.04069 into 1.02 into 35.6 divided by 1 into 1.5 is equal to 0 0.986 gram means 1.5 gram contains 0 0.986 grams of zinc oxide so in 100 grams for percent purity 100 grams contain 0 0.04069 into 1.02 into 35.6 divided by 1.15 into 100 that is equal to 98.66 percent this is our percent purity now result part the molarity of calculated molarity of one normal NaOH that is sodium hydroxide is 1.02 molar and percent purity of the zinc oxide is 98.66%. Thank you for attending and listening the session. Thank you.